meat is rapidly becoming part of Britain's diet. Three million people buy it every week, though less than half that number know it. Only one in three buys from the butcher who sells at the control price of a shilling a pound. It is estimated that three quarters of the horse meat sold goes to the back street restaurants, where the customers are offered black market steaks, or even veal, the flesh of foals. To supply this sordid market, agents scour the country. They're present at every horse fair to buy meat on the hoof. Viewing the animals with a butcher's eye to supply a market which pays half a crown a pound, they bid double normal prices. The farmers needing working horses can't compete. Eight out of every ten horses sold nowadays are said to reach the slaughterhouses. Young horses in the prime of life, prize winners at the show, even mares with their foals, are all meat to such marketeers. In a little over three years, a quarter of a million horses have been killed. The heavy breeds like Shire and Clydesdales are threatened with extinction. The railways are under legal obligation to feed and water the animals in transit. The buyers to whom they're dispatched have no feeling of humanity. The horses are frequently turned loose in boggy pastures without shelter, awaiting their last journey. This sordid trade is on the increase. Slaughtering in London rose 30% in 1948. In Manchester, where the trade was almost unknown until last year, over 7,000 horses have gone to their deaths within the past nine months. Over 400 slaughtering licenses have now been issued. Anyone seems to be able to get one if he can find a disused butcher's yard, although these slaughtermen have no control over carcass distribution. Public feeling grows against a sinister trade. The country demands action against a traffic so alien to the British people.